Fresh and fearless comedian Nikki Moore lets us know how she's making her mark on the DC comedy scene. What We Are Washington starts now. Still to come, Nikki Moore didn't start out pursuing a career in stand-up, but now she's making her mark on the DC comedy scene. From the first time Nikki Moore performed a stand-up routine at a friend's birthday party, she was hooked. Nearly a decade later, her bold style and no-holds-barred comedy is part of DC's thriving underground comedy scene. Take a look. Put your name in. <laughs> Nikki Moore is the best. I'm experiencing now the happiest part of marriage, the divorce. You're the man. This is a friendly situation. Tell me how you got interested in comedy. I got interested in comedy as a fluke. I spent 30 years of my life as an affordable housing manager specializing in low-income housing, and I was really, really good at it. I considered myself then the Olivia Pope <laughs> of property management. And that's not a very funny job. No, it's that's not. That's like a totally straight job. And I managed to find the humor. People used to come into my office and, this is funny, this should be a reality show, <laughs> because I had a very unusual approach to property management. And you have to, <laughs> because those sometimes are very, very, very unusual circumstances. So how did you make that transition? You're just a, a regular, interesting, charismatic property manager, and then you decide, you know what, I gotta get into comedy. We thought that we could be, do a reality show about property management. And in doing that, I, I somehow talked to a friend of mine who was a comedian at the time, a local comic, and I said, you know what, I'm funny. I could get on stage. I wanted to get on stage to further the reality show project, and he said, okay, everybody think they funny. You put together five minutes and I'll put you on stage. I said, okay, I'll do it. And I did it and I killed. <laughs> and it was actually cathartic. It was cathartic, I was, it was therapeutic. I got on stage and I felt better. Mm. I felt like I had had a group therapy session <laughs> with a bunch of people that I may or may not see ever again in life. And I got to say exactly how I felt, you know, and it was liberating. I said, Eureka. <laughs> you found it. I found it. I so found you it. Knew, so you knew that I you knew were that. gonna make a, a career out of I, being a, I did. a stand up comic. I knew I wanted to. Can we talk? I feel like I can talk to you. I can talk to you, right? Okay, you're 60. I should be able to tell you something. What you've told me about the comics you look up to, you know, I can see that you like the, the comics who, you know, kind of push the boundaries. So I'm wondering how you feel in today's kind of PC culture. Um, you know, like what we saw happen with, with Kevin Hart. It seems like it might be a challenging time for comics who do like to kind of push the boundaries. And what do you think of that whole thing? You see my foot? <laughs> do you see my foot? I think that that's garbage. I think people as a whole, we need to relax. Mm -hmm. Comedy is a risk. Yeah. It's a risk. And it always has been. And when we get on stage, sometimes, you know, the stuff that you think is, is amazingly hilarious, it ain't funny at all. <laughs> You know, and, and you get out there, and sometimes the stuff that you had no idea was funny is hilarious. It's just jokes, basically. You know, I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm personally only trying to feel better. I don't have insurance, so I don't <laughs> want to pay for therapy. <laughs> so I use you guys. <laughs> laugh or don't laugh. Typically, when I finish talking, I feel better. Y'all having a good time in here tonight? Seeing that makes me want to get out more and see some of the great comics we have right here in DC. I watched some of her performance from there and it it was really good. I really liked her. It was, yeah. it was funny. Uh, we, you, we wrote um, 
in the beginning, no holds barred. Yeah, definitely. That's really, I mean, that's what <laughs> it is. Just a little warning, yes. <laughs> it really is. I was surprised by some of it, actually, um, especially if you're sitting in the crowd and, you, you know, we were talking about if you're sitting in the crowd and, and just there to take in the performance or maybe you have a snack and then all of a sudden, there's the comedian standing over you. Yeah, you got to be ready, you know. <laughs> but I do like her story where she started uh, doing something else. She had a different career, affordable housing, and then she decided, you know, I think I'm, I'm good at this. I'd like to try it out, and it's worked out for her. Just kind of proves that if you have a dream, go for it, no matter when you, no matter when you pursue it. Right, and we should mention a lot of great comics have kind of come out of the D.C. Right. comedy scene. Everybody knows about Dave Chappelle, but also... Martin Lawrence and, and Wanda Sykes, some of the others who's kind of used DC as a proving ground before they kind of yeah. went on to um, bigger markets. So you can catch them here before they explode. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. <laughs>